How's it going, everybody? Driver53 here, and today we're back on the Giants Corner to Corner Challenge here on Elm Creek. Now, as you can see, I've got a bunch of equipment sitting out here, and yes, I'm finally going to use the cultivator. Now, I know it's super small, but I, I need to do it, and the reason is because I've got precision farming on. And you can see that my scores aren't that great. And what I'm gonna do to this area right down here is, well, first thing I need to do is actually go ahead and uh, purchase the soil maps. So we're gonna go ahead and buy this right here, $700, super cheap. Go ahead and get this one too, another 525. All right, now this one here, and it's gonna come in at seven, I mean, so 14, not even $2,000. And I was able to get every one of these right here. So perfect. But you can see that um, it, it's it's not really um, that good of condition. You know what I mean? Um, so we're going to have to go ahead and uh, put the cultivator in the ground to be able to help out my plowing score because I plowed because I needed to, right? We had a crop in there that I needed to plow. And um, we just got to hit the cultivator. We, we got to do it. It's, it's uh, unfortunate that I'm going to have to cultivate that entire field with this little bitty piece of equipment right here but i'm gonna go ahead and get this guy started and then we are gonna go over and um i got another piece of equipment that i want to show you how about a beautiful kubota m8201 now i do not own this one um i'm borrowing this for a contract and we've got to put cotton in this field right here so i'm going to go ahead and switch this over to cotton right now there we go perfect and uh, i think i'm gonna go ahead and send this uh tractor East and west is the, the direction that I want to go. Now, it's got a super small tank here, a seed tank. It's only 400 liters. So I'm hoping that it's going to um, last me a little bit um, because I don't have a ton of seed. I mean, I've got two bags, but I've got this contract and I picked up another one over on the other side of the map too, but it's cotton also. And then we've got to take care of our fields. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The farmer didn't tell me that this thing goes all the way out here. Check this out. This is like super wide. It's like twice as wide now. That is insane. I just pressed a button and, and it just goes, bloo, it got wider. Oh, I'm going to have to get me one of these. I can't take it anymore. This thing is just way too narrow. Call the shop up here and they said they've got one of the wider ones. It's like twice as wide, five meters. Um, and it's, it's not that bad of a price. Um, you know, I've got money in the bank and I, 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 I gotta spend it. Um, no, not really. It's, um, it's just going to be a better deal for me. It's, it's about $25,000 for this other piece. And I should be able to get, I don't know, 10, 11 out of this one, maybe. So I, I think I'm going to be all right. Uh, I know it's going to be a little bit of a hit, but I definitely need the environmental score to be better. Um, and I just need to be able to get through this field so I can get some seeds in the ground. All right, so let's go ahead and repair this thing. There we go, and repaint it. Look at that, $10,500 is what they're gonna give it to me for. All right, perfect. Now let's go over here and go to cultivators. I want this Limkin right here, 180 horsepower, five meters wide, nine miles an hour. This thing is going to be great. Now I didn't get a deal on it, but I'm, I'm not too upset because I've gotten some really, really good deals on some other pieces of equipment including that one um yeah i picked up a fast bail um last month i think it was um it was a used piece and um it, it's definitely going to come in handy because you know i've got to uh own the sheep farm and that's going to be a great way for me to be able to uh make some hay now i still got to get a tether windrow i mean all, all kinds of stuff that i still need but that baler it was like 62 63 percent off so a really really good deal there um and, and i took advantage of it i mean it probably cost me you know the, not being able to get the farm as quickly um but we're gonna get the farm don't worry and it, just to have that piece of equipment already now i can use it you know for other things if i need to if i've got some property that's got just a little bit of area around the outside that i can actually you know make some bales with maybe i can make some silage you know use the bale trailer go deliver it i mean i got options now Oh yeah, this looks a lot better here. Now, I'm, I'm not happy that I'm kicking up all these rocks. I mean, that's gonna tear up my equipment, but I don't I don't have a rock picker. I'm, I'm hoping I can get one, um, you know, on discount, something like that. It, it's really what I'm hoping for, but um, 
Yeah, it's, it, this is going to hurt. And I'm going to learn how to drive in a straight line. I got the worker back there in that field. And we are going to head over to this other contract field. Um, the one that uh, where the Kubota's at. Um, they're, they're out of seats. I knew it was going to happen. Um, just didn't think it was going to happen this quickly. So we're going to get over here, get them refilled. And then, um, I don't know, we, we might be about ready to start putting some seats in our field too. All right, let's go ahead and uh, raise this up. I got the big bags here. Hopefully this works. I've not done this before. All right, there we go. There we go. Perfect. How, how much is it going to take? I don't know. Let's go check this out right here. All right, 400 liters once again. All right, worker, do your thing. All right, so let's see. How much of this field do we have done? Not quite half. So... I better go ahead and hang out over here. I've still got 754 liters. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, park this bad boy. Oh, I don't know. Like right, right in here somewhere. Because I'm, I'm sure they're going to need more. I think that worker's doing pretty good now. This thing right here is only, what, like three meters wide? So I, I'm not going to be catching up to them at all. Um, let's go ahead and switch this over to oats. There we go. Four month growth cycle. Let's go ahead and drop this down and turn. Oh, I got to unfold it first. All right. And now I can turn it on. All right. Perfect. Let's go ahead and uh, just just go to town. Now, it's going to be difficult to see exactly where the difference is between my cultivated and my planted state here. Oh, I need GPS. So now I'm over here on this side of the field and I decided that I'm going to go ahead and take back over for the worker for just a little while and um, run a little bit of a headland around this and just try and clean it up a little bit. We're going to start getting into some really, really um, tight angles, I guess is the best way to put it. Um, and the workers don't really tend to want to, um, you know, keep working once they get to one of those really sharp angles. So I'm going to go ahead and run the headland, like I said. Um, try not to get out here into the road too far. And um, then I'm going to, you know, clean up just a little bit and then get them going back here. Our uh, cedar, it's doing pretty good. It, it really, really is. Um, they're not quite a third of the way through the field, I don't think. Um, so it's definitely going to be a bit. I, I'm very strongly considering going ahead and upgrading that one as well. To, uh, to something similar to what we're running over there on that cotton contract. Um, that is a very, very interesting uh, piece of equipment um, that I, I think definitely would have a place here on this farm. So I'm going to go ahead and lower this down. And I'm just trying to clean this edge up because I'm going to start going back and forth, I think, kind of like this way a little bit um, for a bit. Um, I don't know. I might. Oh, no. I probably got to go the long way. Yeah. So let me go ahead and get this turn and uh, yeah, I'm going to go that way. That's, that's, that's going to be better. And just like I said, the tractor and cedar over here are, are out again. So we're going to go ahead. Oh man, that was close. Let's go ahead and uh, raise this up. Put it right over there. Maybe higher. There we go. Wait, wait. All right. There we go. There we go. All right. So it should have about 350 ish. Yeah, 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 354. So now this guy can go all the way back to the farm. And whenever we start working on that cedar, put this 354 in there. And, um, well, actually, maybe not. I've got a whole nother contract I got to do too. And when you look at that, it folds back up just as easy as it unfolded. So I got this contract done here. Got everything completely planted. We're going to head over to the farm, refill our seed tank here, and then get up to another contract here cotton contract would you look at this all of these workers well that guy actually just got done all right so let's go ahead and um how do i open i you know what i'm not gonna worry about opening it i'm just gonna go in here and we're gonna raise this up we got 354 liters in here this should be plenty to go in here we should have just a little bit more left over also where'd that road sign come from how about we just do the neighborly thing and uh, just set it right back there. And let's go ahead and take this planter over to the other side of the map. We're actually going up to the sheep farm right now. That way we can go ahead and get this field done so we can get these contracts wrapped up. 
and we can get our fields planted so we can get on to sleeping and get on to the next month. All right, there it is again, man. This is awesome, like double wide here. So we're gonna go ahead and lower this down and go ahead and turn it on and go ahead and go this way. Perfect. All right, we're there. I, I don't know why it said it was reserved for contract work because I, I am doing contract work. So um, this shouldn't take too terribly long. But I need to go back over in the other field. Like I said, my my when we worker, they're done. And I can't have that. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, bring this worker over here to this small little area that we've got here behind the silo. Now, I, I know I said I was going to expand out into this area. But you know what? I, I figure I might as well go ahead and uh, cultivate it, maybe. Right? That way I can go ahead and get some uh, some grass in there. And uh, we can go ahead and improve our environmental score. Because if I don't do anything to this area right here, then it's it's going to give me a really bad score here. So I definitely, definitely want to go ahead and get this taken care of. So I figure, you know what? I'll just go ahead and cultivate it. And it, it's going to need plowed. It definitely is. Um, but I'm not worried about growing any crops here. We're just doing it just to be able to get our environmental score here real quick. You know, and I know that we're going to have to go ahead and uh, get some more seed in that other uh, see, uh, planter that we got over on the other side. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this one all the way up. If I can get close enough. There we go. All right. So I know that didn't fill this one up, but it definitely got that um, big bag out of my way. So we are at 367. All right. We, we're doing really good. We are. Um, I don't think we maybe, maybe half, um, but we're going to be completely fine. Because like I said, I've still got those other, that other contract. I got to get it done before I can even worry about you know sleeping on to the next day anything like that so gonna go ahead and get the contract um gotta get some more seeds for that i'm gonna use this big bag handler right here to be able to uh maneuver two uh big bags over at the same time all right here we are at the big bags so all i gotta do is raise this up get kind of close and then i'm just gonna be able to snap them right on there check that out rock this thing back all right there we go let's go ahead and lower it down a little bit that way, um, the back end isn't going to be too light. We're going to take this over to the other contract area. And that way, we can go ahead and get them going again. Um, it, it, it's going to be close. It really, really is. So I'm just going to go and get over here, top them off, get back, top off our cedar. Yeah, they are definitely making some pretty good progress here. I'm going to go ahead and back up out of the way. Whatever they give me a call, we'll come back over, fill them up. And then uh, take the rest of it down to our other farm because we i'm pretty sure we're gonna need it down there see i said we get about halfway before we needed to fill this thing up again so i'm gonna go ahead and raise this up tilt them forward just a little bit come in here maybe a little bit of a different angle oh man oh man watch out watch out definitely got some light light uh, uh the, the rear end got a little bit light there so go ahead and uh fill this up and get back down there to the main farm after I get this balanced out a little bit better. Might have to get some bigger wheels. Um, so we're going to go and go here. And uh, I'm just going to let the worker take off, have fun with it. They've been doing a really good job. So I'm just going to let them finish and um, go take a look at our own fields. All right, up here on this funky little part, we're going to go ahead and do at least one headland and maybe even two. You know, we had the big cultivator up here. So um, the, the worker did all right, um, but I'm, I'm nervous if I leave this worker up here by themselves the way it is that they're just going to stop every once in a while because of the, the sharp corners, right? So, I'm, I mean, it's another reason why I'm trying to, to get this here done. So then we can hire a worker and um, I can I can get back to, uh, to bring in the other piece of equipment down and wrapping up the contract. Oh, um, my workers are yelling at each other. I might want to get over there, but I bet I know what the problem was. I bet uh, the Kubota worker was in the way of the other worker. Yep, just as I suspected. Um, we were definitely, definitely in the way. So I'm going to back up and, and then just go ahead and get this out of here. Get it down to the other farm. All right, it is time to fold this up. We got the entire contract done. I'm gonna go ahead and take this equipment back over to the store, unload it, because I need my 236 liters of seeds out of here. We're gonna leave it right at the store. And then 
we're gonna go ahead and complete these contracts and make what about eight dollars eight thousand dollars i mean that's that's pretty exciting i'm gonna go ahead and complete these two contracts right here that's gonna get us what six about seven thousand dollars um yeah almost seven thousand dollars by completing both of these right here so boom boom now i've got a cultivating one that i could go do but it's only 456 dollars I don't think that's very good guys we're back up to almost a hundred thousand dollars now and i can't really i mean it, i've got to get the rest of the crops on the ground before i can sleep anymore um and th there's no more contracts so i don't know if i need to speed up a little bit of time i mean it's already uh, four o'clock in the evening right i think i just need to get the stuff and then sleep on until uh april so I guess the real question here is, am I going to make it all the way on seeds? Um, we've got about 52 liters left here. I've got that little bit. I think I'm going to be okay. Um, I'm not 100% there. I mean, we do have the other big bags sitting over there. So then if we need any more seed, then we are good. But I think, I think I'm going to be all right. I mean, we're at 51% now. I've got this last little strip right here all right there we go um let's take a look at the map real quick and i did a pretty decent job we got the whole thing covered no problems at all let's look at our contracts again really quickly nothing nothing at all oh and i've got a fertilizer contract that i need to do too all right here is the field right here perfect all right so yeah i mean this is gonna be why like Three passes, maybe, is all I'm going to need here. I mean, we're already 10% complete. That is awesome. You know, I've got a question for everybody that's still watching. Which farm do you think I should try and pick up first? Should I try and get the sheep, the pigs, or the cows? We're going to hold off on the horses. No, don't worry. We're going to get them, but we're holding off. So sheep, cows, or pigs? Which one do you think I should get first? I just finished up this last little bit right here. Contract already says complete, but I'm just going to get them wrapped up. All right. Well, that is going to be it for the contract. Let's go ahead and collect it. So we'll go here. Boom. Collect. All right. I've only got one left and I got nothing else I can do on the farm. And that's going to be it for March. I wonder what kind of good deals I'm going to get in April.